M0 FXP, welcome to my channel. Your Kenwood D75 and D74 can send photographs and messages using the RS M1A app, which is a free app by ICOM RS MS1A, and this is for the Android. So we've already installed the app there. Now the next thing we need to do is get our radio into Bluetooth mode and our phone. So we'll swipe down and we'll just tap Bluetooth so that it's on and we'll hold our finger on it. Okay, and see the way it says pair new device. Then we'll go to menu on the Kenwood, go menu. Scroll to the right until you see the settings cog. Okay, just zoom in so you can see a bit better. We're gonna select the cog with the enter, with the middle enter, and go down about three to the word Bluetooth and then enter. And then you see Bluetooth, and then we're gonna put enter again. And we're gonna turn the top volume knob, or go down with the toggle and select on. So it's on, but we're not connected yet, okay? Then we're gonna go down, forget connect and device search, that never works. Go to pairing mode. Now you've got 60 seconds on this, but you can keep retrying, remember that. So press enter when you've highlighted pairing mode enter in 60 seconds and eventually because the Bluetooth is on on your Android device eventually the D75 will appear here so tap pair new device and hopefully it shouldn't take too long to see that appear there it is okay and you can see it's finding my 52 but and we're going to send video, um, photographs to the 52 soon and the 52 does not need this app anyway so we're going to tap it and it will pair when it gives you the numbers on the screen of the 75 in a second, always tap the radio first, because I find that's what works best. So click OK here, which is the AB button, and then pair quite quickly. Okay, that's my friend there. So, pairing completed. So we can just make the radio go back to normal for now, and we can swipe up, and open. we'll open the app. Now I'm gonna to have to just exit and start from the beginning there. So we open the app, we get this message, and then we get this list. And because we're not on an ICOM radio, uh, we're gonna choose other, other Bluetooth in a second, but not yet, because first thing we wanna do is make sure that we're in the correct mode. So we wanna connect, we're gonna go into di digital mode, yeah? And we're gonna to connect to a reflector of our choice, but and I'm gonna just go radio to radio, and you could do that. You could just type in a frequency and DV. As long as it's simplex, it's going to work. Um, but I've turned off my hotspot, so although we're on the same numbers here, um, it should just work. But we're not going out on a hotspot, that's my point. So the next thing you need to do is make sure that all your interfaces, and I do them all, are in Bluetooth mode. So go Menu, then go to Settings, then go down to Interface. Now press Enter, Interface, then Enter. And these you can select USB or Bluetooth. So see, I just, so I don't get confused, I just change them all to Bluetooth. So you go down one, GPS, enter, and I just go Bluetooth, okay? Down one, enter, you can go up and down here, Bluetooth. You don't have to do them all, but I do, okay? DV gateway, Bluetooth. And you will need to, with if you use the DV Connect, you're definitely going to need to do that, okay? on Bluetooth. The next thing you need to do is get yourself into what they call data mode. So when you're in DR mode is when you can enter the digital menu. So you go F, then digital, right? Let me show you that again. You're in digital, F, then digital, and now go to voice data. At the moment, we're actually, or by default, you're in voice mode, okay? That is the default setting. When you press enter now, it will switch to data automatically. And up here, you're gonna see the word data. See that? You're now in data mode. And when you come out of anything, that'll just vanish and you have to go back in again. So we're in data mode, okay, that's all good. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna select other Bluetooth, okay? Click okay. And it will find our D75 and when we, say yes, we want to use the D75, it's going to say, it's 
going to say this is going to go blue the little gray bluetooth is going to go blue if you're trying to do bluetooth work and that is not blue you're not connected so we're going to tap paired list and remember it might not work the very first time because that's bluetooth for you but anyway it has paired and you can see that it's gone blue here so we're now connected and remember we're in data mode so now i'm going to try and send a photograph to the 52. Let's bring in our 52. And by the way, I love the 52. I know mine's got a bit of dust on it. It's actually underneath that screen protector. Uh, but I think the 52 is a fantastic device, just, you know, just so you know that. Right, <clears throat> next thing we're gonna do is select a photograph. So we wanna send it. So you tap send at the top there. We're gonna go menu on our 52 and go to picture. And the, this is the clever thing about the 52. There's already a picture there, you see. It doesn't need this app to send photographs. The 75 does need this app. So that's quite important that you know that, yeah. And that's one of the coolest things about the 705 and the 52, and I think the 9700, you don't need the app. I'm not sure about the 9700 because I haven't got one of them. So we're gonna click send, and then we hold our finger here on the photograph. So we're gonna hold it down, and then go to the gallery. And we're just going to choose one. I've been playing around with that app there. Uh, it will bring it in as a delay. That's actually the Midland CB app, believe it or not. I've been playing. We're just going to turn it round. And I highly recommend you check that out because it's free. Midland CB Talk app. Save. Right. Um, then it, I'm just going to click low quality because I want it to be quite fast. Okay. I'm going to click OK. And then we're going to tap start transmitting. It gives you this warning, the transceiver's GPS TX mode must be off to send from here. So hopefully it is. And then we're gonna click OK. And it starts to send. And if you look here, I'll turn up the volumes. The Kenwood D75 has gone into transmit. And it's, there's no, I'm not on a hotspot here because I've unplugged all my hotspots, yeah? And then you'll re, the, the audio you hear will be from Hubnet, which is on my B band. In that call that you can simultaneously receive Hubnet and which is analog and a photograph at the same time. And what we're going to do, we're going to send the other way in a second. Right, so it looks like that's okay. So that's done. So now we're going to tap this one here. We're going to tap receive. Okay. And then I think when you're in this window, you tap the quick button and then go TX all. Click OK. And now we're going back the other way. So now we've got on the green screen, which is the receive DR screen for the 75. Which is my, that's my R Finder P10 tablet. And you can see it's already there. And that's it. It looks like it's done. I can, you can save the photographs as well. There is actually an app called, I think it's called the 4002 by Icon, where it will get a photograph, prepare it for you, get the right, you know, pixels and things, and send it to your Icon 52. That, I've done a separate video on that. Now, with the RSM1A app, when you're using it with the Icon stuff, you can actually see DR mode. But as far as I can see, when you're using it with the 75, you can't. You can share pictures, you can send a message, you can look at repeater lists. OK there. You know, different repeater lists. Let's actually look at one, shall we? There you go. You look at that information, share pictures we did, your call sign, let's do that. There's my call sign. If you tap it, see what it shows. There you are. I can edit it if I want. Application settings, let's just do that. So you've got all these settings. I haven't changed any of these. Okay, let's have a look what they are anyway. Export file settings, notification settings, history log, URL, position, and slow data. Uh, import, what can we import? Look, you can import your repeater list. But I don't want to do it because I don't want to mess up what I've got. But you can import, let's try your call sign because I actually haven't done that on mine yet. Oh no. So you've got to find the file. So you can import a file to this app. Yeah. And let's just go repeat it. So if you 
Download from the internet, that's quite good. Let's try that. Well, that's very good, isn't it? That you can actually download the file straight from the internet. The thing is, look, then it wants to overwrite my current list and I don't want to do that, so I'm going to cancel that. But it's still really useful, isn't it? Um, because the current list I got is, is the 75 one that came from, straight from Kenwood. I, I don't want to put the icon one on there. Export as well. Uh, your call sign, if you want, you can export, you can save. Look at that. I just saved that to my phone. Let's do another one. Export. One, two, one, two. Export. Um, no, that won't work. Do it again. And this is just an Android uh, this Galaxy, or what is it's Pixel Pro, I think it is. Anyway, export. Repeater list. And look, it's, look, it's giving me the repeater list. I can save it to my phone. How handy is that? Go okay. So I have a little play, isn't it? It's free. Tells you your Bluetooth connection. Already connected. Let's do a message. We'll send a message. Now, I think for the icon to receive a message, I'm pretty sure, let's go out of the camera by pressing VFO. For the I we're still in the right frequency. If I, to receive a message, I'm gonna put here, and remember this is not online, ham, this is a radio to radio. Ham tech transmit, transmit. Now it's transmitted, but I don't know if it will send the message. Let's see if it says ham tech here. But I, I, it's possible that the 52 would also need to be running the same app and then you can do a lot more um, with the RSM1A and you can actually fully control the 52 with this app. Um, let me just see if I can just quickly connect to it. Actually, I think I'll save it for another video because it's quite a lot of information here. Bye for now, 73.